This is the funk days your mom will appreciate. Isn't it terrific? If you're a fan of my channel, then what I'm about to say will likely cause a traffic jam of serotonin as it attempts to crawl its way up your spine. Oh, see? <laughs> Look at him go. My dad never took me to the public pool. Look at how cool I am. I could use someone watching my back. This is the dumbest video ever on the channel. What the f By now you might know the drill on my channel, but if you're new here, I like to play my favorite open world games in varying ways. Usually I set my own goals and make my own quests, but this time I asked you beautiful people in the audience to help me do my job again. Cause we already did this in Skyrim and it was, Honey, are you hungry? Pretty interesting. Go and watch that one first if you haven't. I took a few suggestions from this community post. I made some small tweaks and went on one hell of an adventure. Don't make fun of me. I know this is a way lower effort PowerPoint than the one that I put together for Iron Man. I was in a rush, okay? There's, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, so the first one, essentially, all we have to do is pick up Billy, the kid in the fridge. Don't take him home. He'll be our new follower. We assume the role of his father, and we have to take him to several bars, saloons, and game, and get absolutely hammered right in front of him. You know, be a bad father. All right, Sean. Can we get through this intro so I can abandon you and get to my new awesome son? Oh my God! Time for a whole new life. Single and ready to mingle. All right, let's have some fun. Objective one, find Billy. Catch. I'm just practicing for when my son and I have to play baseball. Enough with the Molotovs. What are we doing here? Come on, this is supposed to be on easy mode. Oh, you son of a bitch, I actually died. Billy, my boy. Oh, there he is. Get me out of this thing. Is someone in there? Let me out. We'll go with the old fashioned sarcastic, right? Usually Nate's got something real witty up his sleeve. I'm just looking for the mayonnaise. Maybe you could grab it for me. Second shelf, right next to the pudding. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. Uh, Billy's kind of on point there. <laughs> My legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. In more ways than one, because this isn't exactly Billy. This is Billy Reloaded, the first official mod I've developed for the channel, all on my own, with no help from anyone else. Nope, completely self-taught. I tweaked a few dials in the creation kit to turn Billy from a bumbling sack of cowardice into someone who runs towards danger. Equipped with his trusty shades of bravery, Billy will be a much more useful accomplice in helping you finish any of your goals provided you avoid bringing him back home to his parents. So off Billy and I went on a father-son adventure to look for three different pubs so dad could get slammed because because one of you asked for it. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I didn't make the rules. I did not come up with this. Thanks, mister. You're all right. Oh, see? <laughs> Look at him go. Dodging and everything. I hope we find out what happened to my mom and dad. Mm, you should probably forget about them. I'm your new dad. Ooh, the bank. Oh, crap. Since? Movement detected. Shh. Curious. Get down. Get down. No, Billy. 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 Get down. No. Look at him block though. That's what I'm talking about, Billy. Way to go. One more. Did he just grab that? Billy, Billy, put the gun down. <laughs> Wait, no, Billy, put it down. You're not supposed to be shooting them. You're not the main character. That's supposed to be me, Billy. Look at this kid. He's so locked in. <laughs> it's on sight with Billy. Light him up, light him up. Are you sure this is the right way? <laughs> I love you. Would he kick my ass in a fight? I miss my mom. Yeah, I know, Billy, I know. That's why we're gonna get you a new one. Now, while fathering a random child that you found in a fridge, it's important to take them on calming walks throughout the park. It's a great father-son activity. Wanna go swimming, kid? You know what, you don't have a choice, Billy. Go swimming. See? My dad never took me to the public pool. Look at how cool I am. <laughs> I thought he was gonna rise all the way up with Swan. You got this, kid! Now, Billy, don't let the bullies at the public pool get you down. You gotta stand up for yourself. Wait, wait, no, oh, no, wait. The, the bullies aren't supposed to turn on the father. You're supposed to be afraid when I show up. Never mind, Billy, be afraid of bullies. Don't, 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 don't fight back against them. Oh no, he's gone. My son's actually gone. E. 
Oh, that's not good. Okay, you don't have to stomp that many times in a row. Holy shit. <laughs> Actually hit his grenade in midair with the Molotov. Where's my son? Okay, we might be able to use all of our ammo here and whittle him down a good amount. It's just gonna take a little bit. If this comes down to my last bullet. It's every kid's dream to watch their stepdad get hammered at the pub near the pool. Apparently it's not because Billy Reloaded isn't too fond of following the player into interior locations. Is Billy not gonna follow me in here? It's a pretty important quest condition, Billy, that you see me get hammered at the bar. He won't go with us. He keeps running across the street to play with the street youths. Don't worry though, the quest is called Irresponsible Adult after all, and nothing fits the bill quite like leaving the zombie child I'm technically kidnapping unsupervised while I... Yeah, that's my boy Billy out there. A real good kid, real hard working kid. He's a good ball player. You, you shut your mouth, you shut up. One pub down and two to go. We just gotta make our way to Diamond City so we can easily knock off the last two and get on with our next father-son adventure. Billy, I swear if you leave me again. Yeah, <laughs> he's already getting, he's already running away. See that Billy? That's what we call a mega church. Got an idea. See that metal bucket? Go grab it. They're gonna get really pissed off. Billy is sneaking towards his target. Billy has grabbed the bucket. I don't know if anybody noticed. He might have gotten out of there in one piece. Good work, Billy. We need to grab something more valuable next time. Uh, do they really not care how much you take from them, Billy? He's on the move. You didn't even do anything. No, Billy, go back in and complete the mission. All right, fine, Billy. We're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. What just happened? Nice, good work. Oh man, really? Four on one, he's a child. Get up, son, get up, I need your help. Don't leave your, no, don't leave your father like this. Okay, how do I get executed by a pool cue? All right, Billy, your dad's gonna take you to the big city. Nice, all right, now Billy's in here. Wait, don't leave. But you're supposed to watch me get hammered. Hey, so you hang out in the bar while you leave your kid at home too, huh? Is that my kid? Billy's already up there ordering noodles and everything. He's going on his own side quest without me. <laughs> God damn it, Billy, stick to the plan. Look at him, he's picking up the paper. He's he's even reading the news. He's getting caught up on current events. He had to go order noodles on his own though because I won't feed him. Where's your hat? Where's your hat? Oh, Billy. Wow. Oh, oh shit. I thought you were Billy. <laughs> I thought Oh, oh, there you are. Dude, I got you confused for the other street urchin. You've managed to get yourself trapped in a suit of power armor with no core. You must walk from Diamond City to the Adam Cat's garage to get it fixed. You'll be allowed to use weapons to defend yourself, but you cannot pick up any cores. All right, Billy, get in your suit of power armor as well. We'll be matching. There's no way. Oh my God, Billy, you're grown. <laughs> He's a teenager now. He just gets bigger. <laughs> ah! Come on, you creature. <laughs> this is creepy. Help, Raiders jumped us. You gotta help. What happened? Where are the Raiders at? My back hurts, my feet hurt, everything hurts. Hey, Billy, I found a girlfriend for you. Can't remember the last time. <laughs> Dude, the look, his face kills me every single time. Hold on. Billy, you see that up ahead? I don't know if we should go right through this. I know I saw at least one. Yeah, this place is dangerous. Don't worry, I've got my defense stick. That one's got nukes. Wait a minute. I don't need to defend myself. My son can do it for me. Just keep me out of the explosion. Oh shit, there's more of them? Good boy. Good job, Billy. Oh God, there's a second one. There's another one. No, sir, a second super mutant suicider has hit the power armor. Run! I can, I can survive. Stick with me, kid. Nice and slow. We got to sneak right past him. I should have done this at night, but then I wouldn't have been able to see Billy as easily. Nice and easy. We got this, Billy. This bridge is chock full of enemies. I mean, we are heading into the teeth of it all. Ha! 
Ha, <laughs> this was easy. Slow and uneventful. Okay, never mind, Billy. You made up the you made up my mind for me. What the f Kate has decided that kicking her chem addiction is overrated, and as such, she needs your help collecting all the drugs within the Commonwealth. She doesn't need a lot of them, but she'd like variety. As such, you need to collect one of every type of drug in the base game, including the Mysterious Serum, Radex, and all the possible drug combos you can craft. This includes the following. Jet, Psycho, Medex, Buff Out, Mentats, Berry Mentats, Great Mentats, Orange Mentats, Buff Tats, Buff Jet, Psycho Jet, Ultra Jet, Psycho Buff, Day Trip, or Overdrive, Jet Fuel, X Fuel, daddy -O Fury. And then of course, the Mysterious Serum. In order to get this quest started properly and provide Billy with a new mom, we need to swing by the combat zone. Okay, I guess I'm following you. Yes! I raised this kid so right! Get out there, kid! He got rid of a legendary power fist for a 10 millimeter pistol. Billy, you're an idiot! Anything on there? Okay, all right. Uh, 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 inappropriate. Inappropriate. Put her clothes back on. Oh god, okay. I really am raising a monster. We're never gonna complete this quest. Ever. I forgive a lot of things, but raising a kid in Boston is unforgivable. <laughs> and who's this? Wait, who let you? Buddy, I'd find some cover quick. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is gonna be a tough fight. Don't worry, I can do this all with just my trusty little whacking stick. I think they're all level one raiders, so it shouldn't be too bad. God, I'm so good at Fallout. Ooh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. All right, trick shot. We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. What say I let you take over her contract? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. With Kate joining our lovely little family, we can start our search for the remaining chems that we need while collecting XP along the way to grab the chemist perk. Oh, and I downloaded a writable Deathclaw mod so we could have a family pet. All right, Billy, you want to learn how to hunt deer? Let me show you a thing or two about hunting deer. Come on, Shreddy. I didn't really have a creative way to write Shreddy into this adventure, so don't be surprised when he pops up eventually. Super fun fact about this mob though, and totally unrelated to the current objective, if you order a follower to ride Shreddy the Deathclaw, you can play Fallout for the first time ever from the second person perspective. Okay, now this is weird. But I'm moving, wait, I can control myself. Look, oh, this is so trippy. How can something this beautiful exist in such a fucked up world? Are you talking about Shreddy? What an assist! <laughs> what an assist from Billy! First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What the hell is this? And what are you doing here? I'm here to be his backup. He's too timid to approach you on his own. I'm not gonna be pushed around. <sighs> All right, Billy. You ready to learn a lesson in shrewd negotiation tactics? Follow me. Maybe I should just approach calmly and talk with them. Oh, never mind. Okay, it's just combat mode. Oh, they were just killing that dog? <laughs> That's it? Billy, don't face away from your problems. Always face the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always face them head on. I'm here for the chems and the money. <laughs> Press the offensive. Take cover? Billy, I said take cover. Shreddy, Shreddy, Shreddy. <laughs> we need Shreddy. Yes, go get him, Shreddy. I don't care about my frame rate. Save my child. You okay? You okay? It's just a little bruise. It's a, you're, you're a big, strong kid, Billy. Go forth. What is that? Oh, God, Billy, get down. Stop throwing your Molotovs at my landmines. I just missed every shot. Billy, take out the laser. Tripwire cannot be disarmed. You useless sack of shit. Found him. 
Uh, you're on your own. Billy, you good in there? Why would their password be Ethan? There's no way it's Ethan, right? Yeah, zero. Likeness, zero. There's no way. Why would you say your password is Ethan? E-T-H. Oh, now I have to think of the name Ethan every time I look at one of these other passwords. Two more levels. We just have to get to level 10. All right, chemist. Boom. You fought well today. You fought hard. You've been through a lot of discourse, a lot of violence. And you've proven yourself as a warrior and as a strong member of this family. Are there drugs in here? <gasps> Day Tripper. Okay, we got two copies of Day Tripper, my favorite game. On the bed? Got it. Excel. Consider this your final interview. Okay, they're still having the conversation with Otis. Kate, let's clear this place out of any booze they have that we can use to turn into super drugs. <laughs> let's get moving. Okay, da, da, da. they'll just carry on the conversation with Otis. They don't need us for this. I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Welcome to the family. I'm over here walking my ass to the objective for no reason. All right, there we go. God, this was gonna be such a long run. Thankfully, we have our good friend Shreddy. Can cut our travel time in half. Except Shreddy doesn't know how to jump. Oh no, not right now. All right, these people need to chill, but I kind of want to go off on them. Assaultron, I got this. Okay, attack, attack, <laughs> attack. Do something. Okay, this is bad. Passive mode. We need to go into manual mode. Now I should be able to attack. Okay, I don't think it's working. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> We're on fire. Okay, never mind. This isn't working. Just go. Okay, you take care of him. Cover me. I gotta run. It's like I got a five star wanted level. Oh, Jesus. Now I'm just falling. The geometry is my death once again. Why am I standing on top of Shreddy like this? <laughs> <laughs> We're balanced perfectly. Don't tell me how to ride my own death claw. I'm a master of animals. I'm the death claw whisperer. Oh fuck. Uh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Was well, not ready for another death claw. Woo. Get through. Go, go, Shreddy. Oh, I'm like jogging on top with Shreddy. That's so cute. We're in sync. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Stop, I'm tired of this. He looks ridiculous. He's moonwalking on top of him. Finally, Shreddy's time to shine. He comes through with a big play. Now get me off of here. Bye, Shreddy. Now, where's Billy? Have a minute. Got something on my mind. Uh, what now, Kate? Fine. What do you want? Go ahead. Appreciate it. After. <laughs> Thank you. I just I noticed him in the background there. How you've been? damn near nice to me. I could use someone watching my back. I hope we find out what happened to my mom and dad. But your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Kate, all I expect of you is to... Billy, not now. Mom and dad are in the middle of a serious conversation about their relationship, and we don't need you creeping out. <laughs> Get us. <laughs> Leave me alone. Give me some time, and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. Sex. After all, what are friends for? Sex. Sorry, Billy, that was inappropriate. Billy? <laughs> what the fuck did. Billy! That's not an actual person. Okay, it is, it is, it is a person. Prank, it was a prank. I'm taking the whiskey. We gotta go, we gotta go, everybody. No, Billy, dude. Oh my God, he's walking in with the baseball bat like he's actually in a horror movie. Billy, you can't walk in all intimidating like that. It, it makes you the villain. Okay, Billy is the villain. He's a psychopath. Billy, no, it was an accident. All right, fine. Give me all your tarberry. Remember, Billy, don't follow in my footsteps exactly. Only pick out the best things about me. Uh, yeah. uh, 
no way! You don't have to be- you could just murder them and then take the slug today, I learned. Wait a minute. There's a survivor. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, you didn't... what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Really? Okay, you're already looking away. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's enough murder for today, Billy. We can leave this old guy to his toys. Okay, berry mentats. Orange mentats. Jet fuel. Ultra jet. Toilet, toilet, toilet. Stop looting everything else. Daddy -o! Oh, there you are. Billy. So, no, sorry. That it's it's kind of threatening, but I mean this in an endearing way whenever I you know. If you've seen a Nurbit video, then you know what we're kind of getting into, which is funny because Nurbit actually suggested the second one that we're going to try. But the first one, really simple. You need someone as dedicated as a super mutant suicider back at the Concord. Back at Concord. Concord. I always forget how to pronounce it, which is why you need to lead one all the way back to base. You'll be grateful for the protection they provide. And I think I remember having a back and forth with them in the community post about this one, where I said, I have a better idea. Or I have a different idea. What if we put a little spin on this? And then I suggested, what if we find a super mutant suicider? And there we go. There's our target. And then we get a super mutant suicider to follow us all the way back to Concord. Okay, we already failed. And we have to Thank get the super mutant sir. suicider to take out the death claw that spawns. So we got to get a suicider to follow us all the way to Concord. Why does my hand look massive? Oh my God, I did not realize when I reach out like, I <laughs> come back to me, don't fight it. Don't fight anything else this way. Come on, buddy, you got this. You can get right, right over the hill. A caravan guard. You gotta be quick. Okay, I got an idea. If we can keep him attracted to us, All right, we're on the move, we're on the move. Don't call me names. We're on the same team here, technically. So we follow this road east. It's gonna take us right through the road of Concord that we took to find this fellow. I think we've got a pretty good route. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Wrong way, no, he's going, he's going towards, oh fuck, we're done, that's it. Where, who's he running after? Not that one. Don't you dare do it. Turn around and face me. Whew. There's a robot. Since? Oh no. There's a gang. They're shooting at him. They're shooting at him. Okay, one synth down. There's two more. Fuck. Don't do it. Reload, reload, hurry up, come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't do it, don't turn, don't, no! Fuck! Get rid of his annoying teammate. We're gonna have Lucas Miller right up here in the road. Can we take out all three of them really quickly? Oh, nice try, nerd. Caravan guard down, Lucas Miller down. All guards down, super mutants following. There you go. Around the tree, good, you're learning. He's getting better at this. Why, 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 I'm an idiot. If I blow it here, I'm gonna be really upset. Oh, he didn't go after him. He doesn't care about Moretz, you're irrelevant. I'm the real goal here. Oh, there's too many of them, that's it. That's it. And a dog, and a dog. Why is the entire zoo appearing here? Psycho Jet so we can get a one-hit kill, hopefully. Oh no, they just hit him, they just hit him. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, focus on me, focus on me. 
You and me together, same team. Around the rocks. You've gotta be fucking me. How, uh, why? <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. Let's see if we can beat him into town. Is that the death claw? That might have been the death. That is. All right, death claws on the. Wait, where are you? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh shit, he's right here. Okay, I thought I lost him. Preston's on the roof. Preston's gonna shoot the super mutant. We need to cut it around into the alleyway so we can get away from Preston. This is really awkward pathing for him. Coming around. Okay, there's one in front of me. Here we go, game time, this is it. Slow down time, check our corners. Deathclaw's on the field. Raider in front. I only see one Deathclaw, I don't see any Raiders and Vats. Deathclaw's on us. Super Mutant and Deathclaw, both in the play of field. Field of play, play of field, same thing, I'm stressed. Oh wait, they're in the middle of a robbery. Don't worry, I'll free you. Where's the death claw? Oh shit. They're flanking from all directions. I'm getting hit with Molotovs. I'm caught on a sandbag. Where's the death claw? I have no clue where the death claw is. No, Preston, no! Fuck you, Preston. What's his health? His health is still good. Most of the town looks clear. We just have to keep everything in slow motion as best we can. Still on us? Yeah, he's still following. Looks like the Deathclaw might be in this park. There he is. Deathclaw's at about half health. Big damage on him. This is the moment. We've got the Deathclaw. He's about half health. I think that the nuke is going to kill him. Death Claw's fairly low. I gotta reload. Can we keep him caught in this alleyway? No, we cannot. All right, he's coming after us. Stay on me. I'm hit. We lost our aggro. We lost our boy. There's our nuke. There's our nuke. Stay on me. No, 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 no. Am I dead? So Good Neighbor by Nurbit. Nurbit submitted this one. And the prompt he submitted, well, I'll just read it. It's been awfully lonely in Sanctuary since the bombs fell. What, with all your neighbors having up and left the town? I think it's time you head on down to Boston and lead them back home safely before they get themselves hurt. And then the context of this in-game, there's a random event in Fallout 4 where you run into all your old neighbors who are now feral ghouls. So we wanna lead them back to Sanctuary without me, or them dying. I came up with a few more objectives to throw in here for this one. We have to A, prepare sanctuary for housing ferals. So we need some kind of crafted thing where when the feral ghouls do get to sanctuary, we can lock them into individual cages. Oh crap. I forgot about Codsworth. We haven't met him yet. As I live and breathe. Sorry Codsworth. Okay, we'll go like that and like that. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Good one, game. Where's the undo button? You each get a one by one box. Unique problem, create your own solution. All right, we just gotta lead them back to sanctuary, keep everybody alive. When they get here, we'll go like this. We'll go boom. Oh no, I'm under attack, I'm under attack. Bang. Boom, nice and easy. The good thing about feral ghouls is they don't explode. The bad thing about this quest is I don't know exactly where the event will activate. I have a rough idea, maybe around Lexington, the police station. So I spent some time just bopping around this general area until I just magically caught a break. We got him. We got him. We actually found him. Oh my God, they're getting shot at. They're getting shot at. How, many, how much sniper ammo do I have? 21 rounds. One down. We gotta stay in slow motion the whole time. Two down. I'm saving you, Miss Rosa. 
Oh no, how many of my neighbors are dead? No! No! Mrs. Donahue, no! Sadly, I could only save two of them, but this is a random encounter hotspot, so I figured I could reload, fast travel away, save, and then keep fast traveling back until they returned. Lo and behold, worked like a charm. Got him! We got it! All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. We gotta lock in here, we gotta get this right. Donahue, Sumner, Parker, Parker, Sumner. Rosa, there you are, Ms. Rosa. Welcome to the party. It looks like they took care of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got all six of them. Now, 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 each and every one of you get in a single file line. Oh shit. <laughs> now the journey back with them was pretty uneventful, just hurting some extremely loud and annoying cattle. Hey, 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 hey. Mrs. Parker, bring it around, bring it around, around the car. The, ter the terrain here is a little bit difficult for them to navigate. God damn it, Mr. Donahue. Very little drama throughout the whole journey. You know, for zombies, they're pretty easy to babysit. There was one unfortunate little hazard that got in the way, though. Don't do anything stupid, dog meat. Oh my god, dog meat, you did something stupid. Damn it, dog meat, why? Why? Why did you have to do this? No, no. I swear to god, dog meat. I really don't want to have to fight you, but I am. All right, he's down. <laughs> he's down. Hostile is taken care of. Dog meat, stay down. I'm gonna have to hit him with a rhino trank. Let him go, dog meat, let her go. Speaking of old yeller, once I'd taken the zombies out back, taking care of business was a simple process of just popping off the door and then locking each one of them in. The end result? Congratulations! The entire population of Sanctuary Hills has been returned safely to their own individual cages. They're all doing a synchronized zombie dance. In cage number one, ow, we have the lovely Miss Rosa. She seems to be enjoying her new premises very much. Mr. Donahue and Mrs. Parker have officially eloped. They are now lovers for life. Mr. Sumner, the very frustrating cripple. He has knee problems, but you know what he doesn't have? Not a roof over his head. Mrs. Donahue alone, very heartbroken over losing her husband. She seems to be struggling a little bit. Mrs. Sumner, don't really know a whole lot about her. And Mr. Parker, also newly divorced on his own. Maybe he should elope and get together with Mrs. Donahue. Okay, I got a bone to pick with the people who suggested this one. Due to being short on time here, since I have to move my entire setup five hours north tomorrow, I'll sum this one up. Lil Zor and Tom Square memes both suggested essentially the same quest. Find all the holotape minigames and beat slash get a high score, blah blah blah, you get it. There are six of these holotapes scattered around the game, so of course I jumped at the opportunity for more shenanigans with my new family. Billy, get out of your mother! Long time no see. I really felt lost without you two. I hope we find out what happened to my mom and dad. God damn it, Billy. Don't ever do that again. I, as your father, I demand you don't scare me. What's new, Doc? <laughs> He's, half his chest is out of frame. That's not why I take issue with this quest, and this isn't either, but it's worth mentioning. A few of the holotapes are locked behind quests, specifically the ones in Good Neighbor, Fort Hagen, and the Fort Hagen Hangar. This didn't stop me from trying to get them without cheating, of course. Bring it on, Irma. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, I still had good fun tagging along with my crew. The issue I have with this quest arose when I finally started playing these games. Atomic Command 2071 Planned Diversion Programming. A nice relaxing game where you defend landmarks from falling missiles. So if we just sit here and we defend our landmarks? No, we lost the Taj Mahal again and I lost the rockets. High score, not the one I had an issue with. Also definitely not the Taj Mahal. Let's try Automatron, the Planned Diversion Programming 2072 follow-up to 2071's Atomic Command. You play as Guy and you shoot at the not guys around the screen. This game kind of rocked. 9 out of 10. Easy high score, not the one I had a problem with. Red Menace. Lame. Pitfall. What? Zeta Invaders. Not bad, not amazing. Oh my god, of course I killed the cow again. Grognak and the Ruby Ruins. Hey, look, I found Fallout 4's old school RPG mechanics. If you're wondering why I mostly skipped the other games, that's because I actually sat down and spent two hours straight playing this fucking thing. Now I have to say, this is a pretty competently made 8-bit RPG. It's got boss battles, loot, I just wasn't expecting it to take so long, but once I started, I couldn't stop. I had to see it through to the end. Can we flee? Yeah, we can flee. We gotta flee. 
Okay, retrieve. No, don't, don't. Oh my God, I went back to the snake. Also for a mini game inside of another game, this game is hard as shit. I'm just gonna click through this fight and pray that nobody goes down. And Zackstar went down. God damn it, Zackstar. Wait, hold on. I can't lose two people right now. Please do 18 damage. Grognak, I need you right now. He only does 14, fuck you. Yeah, he attacked the whole party. Zackstar is down. Oh, fuck you. This game was a non-stop barrage for two hours straight. It might not seem like a button masher, but like, look at that Pip-Boy index finger go. It's wild. Between backtracking on the map, skipping fight dialogue, and oh my god, that song. If I ever have to hear the song, the, there's this little tune that plays as you traverse the map in this game. Every time you finish a fight or you leave a look, boom, 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 man, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. But despite all of that, when I started to see that light at the end of the tunnel, I kind of enjoyed this for what it was. So he has the sleep debuff and the daze debuff. Furious rage for three consecutive attacks from Grognak with 24 damage. Sleeping bonus of 30, 26 damage. Dazed bonus of eight. 19 damage. Dazed bonus of 10 more. Now he's only down to 63 health. Let's go, come on. Hit him with a quick dazing strike. Bam! Now it's Grog next turn. Boom, hit him with Furious Strike. It's a combo, a flurry of attacks that are gonna be buffed because of the dazing strike. We can do this team. If we work together, we can. We'll go Sleep Spell, Dazing Strike. Went for Grognak again, but no, we're just attacking. Dazing Strike, bitch. Furious Rage, Grognak attacks three times. Night Night, Grelok. You have won the battle. Yes. Victory. The shadow of Grelok will never again fall on the land. Thank you, Grognak. And may your enemies always cower in your presence. It's cooler if I do it this way. Billy, what are you doing back there? I think he's just dancing. Let's go, 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 let's